Welcome to renovation time. So here we are in this beautifully finished kitchen and uh, just some cosmetics now, a little bit of paint touch up, tile backsplash, and we are good to go. Uh, we've ordered the tile, the client actually came in today, as a matter of fact, picked the tile for the tile backsplash. So we'll get that finished in the next uh, week or so, do our paint touch ups, finish the trim work, and uh, it's, it's really coming along. What we should talk about today is electrical. So in here, you can tell we have a stack cabinet look. So these cabinets go all the way to the ceiling and then we have our crown on the ceiling. These have LED lights in every stack cabinet. Uh, so there's a lot of lighting in here as well as we have an LED, a new LED light here right at the, the, the entryway into the kitchen from the back room. And then we just put a standard light above where our kitchen table is gonna go. And then the other thing we did LED lighting underneath the uh, light valance. So it gives you a nice reflection on the countertop. It's a really good night light for people if they just want to leave that on. But what I really wanted to talk about was the cost or the efficiency of the new lighting. Uh, the other thing we have now is these new plugs and these have USB ports in them. So you could potentially put this plug here and instead of having the big plug that you plug in, you basically just run your USB for your um, iPhone or Android phone, plug it in and you're all set to go. So a really nice option and it's an easy swap out. So you could take this plug out, go buy yourself one of these with the USB port, put it in and then everybody can plug their phone in. So when we come back, we're going to talk about the energy saving with the new LED lighting and how this uh, kitchen's coming along. So welcome back to renovation time. So LED lighting. So typically most homes would have uh, like a 60 watt bulb. For instance, in this light here, we have 160 light or 60 watt bulb, but the new LEDs use between six and a half and eight watts of power. So significantly less. So if you're like me, I have a lot of pot lights in my house, probably 40 or 50 pot lights using typically a 50 watt bulb. So you can convert those pot lights and put the new low LED lighting bulbs in there. And really, so for every 160 watt bulb, you're gonna save, you could have six or seven or eight of them, depending if you go the five and a half or eight watt uh, LED bulb, it's gonna save you a lot of money. So in here, if you looked at all these pot lights that are actually inside the stack cabinets, this whole area here would be considered the same as 160 watt bulb. So consider it, the, uh, the new technology with lighting is really important. It's gonna save you money and you will notice it on your hydro bill immediately. So if you have a bunch of pot lights and you wanna get them changed, definitely call an electrician and it's gonna save you money in the long run. So hopefully that'll help you with your next renovation. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna talk somewhat about the flooring. We're gonna talk about the plumbing and the cabinetry we put in. And in Kitchen and Bath Center, call or visit their showroom at 1985 Lansdowne Street, just west of Braley Drive.